It is an intriguing set of circumstances. A patient infected with HIV who doesn't get sick. Through screening, researchers at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases study a sample of his blood to learn why he controls the virus, <coughs> while others succumb so quickly. Only a tiny percentage, less than 1% of HIV-infected people fit this category and live an extra 7 to 12 years. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He calls the patient, and others like him, elite, long-term non-progressors. They may hold the clues to treating HIV patients. We found a rare individual who was making this powerful type of antibody response that was able to neutralize or block about 90% or more of HIV strains. This is the Vaccine Research Center at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Here, scientists discovered naturally occurring antibodies called VRC01 and VRC02 in the patient's blood. They used a technique to probe and select those specific cells that produce only the antibodies that block the virus from spreading. This image shows the atomic structure in blue and green of one of the antibodies binding to the HIV, shown in gray and red. Dr. Fauci says the next stage in the research might be to infuse cloned antibodies into HIV patients or use the antibodies to block the transmission of the virus from pregnant women to their unborn babies. The scientists say their ultimate goal is really the creation of a vaccine to stop the virus in its tracks. We have 2.7 million people worldwide who get infected every year. Two million people die every year. For every one person we put on therapy, two to three people get newly infected. So we need something to block infection. Historically, vaccines are the most efficient way to do that. Realization of a vaccine is still years away. Melinda Smith, VOA News.